Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny and welcome back to episode 13, lucky number 13, wink wink of my let's play mini series on The Sims 4 Dine Out. Okay guys, so um, how ironic it is to be at episode 13 and we get this Day of the Dead challenge. I'm going to do the Day of the Dead challenge on my other LP, The Sims 4 Gets Together. So I'm just focusing on this mini series on um, Dine Out. In case you guys are wondering and i'm probably gonna film get together really soon uh, but i want to get dine out first uh, because i think that a lot of you guys really want to see us progress in our restaurant so right now um ethan just woke up and he's having some breakfast because i'm really particular about sending him to school in a good mood um so that is our goal and also um, if you guys remember in the last part, we had another frustrating day at the restaurant. It just keeps coming, you guys. No matter how hard I try, it just does not work out. So, um, I was thinking of possibly renovating the restaurant. We don't have that much money, uh, but we might actually renovate the restaurant. Um, yeah, I think that is definitely like a possibility. Uh, it's probably going to be good to think about selling some things that we don't necessarily use even though i really really love this house i'm thinking of possibly selling stuff or not i don't know uh i forgot to make him do his homework last night so let's see if we can manage to squeeze some of that for him right now and then kaylee i really want her to go to the restaurant early i realized that we kind of finish quite late uh, at the restaurant like we close up at night already and i want her to maybe go there at like eight and see whether things can improve or not so she's gonna go ahead and grab some breakfast um i'm trying to learn to use this button over here uh so that i don't have to manually make the sims click like a million times because you guys told me that if i just click on this button over here She'll automatically do what I want her to do, I hope. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and speed things up here a little bit. I don't want to dwell too much at home for now because I really am itching for uh, some time at the restaurant. Um, so yeah. All right, you go ahead and let's see. He really wants to have fun. So that's pretty interesting. And yeah. Of course, my game lags. This is perfect. <laughs> Alright. Whatever he is doing, I'm going to speed to this so that... Let's see here. Yeah, it's almost like 8 a.m. So I think it's time for him to go to school. Alright, just... Yeah, your homework, it's enough, so... And then how's mom? She's doing well. It looks like I'm gonna have her actually t really, really quickly take a shower upstairs. Uh, and then let's see here. Luca is actually doing really well. He is doing some push-ups. He might as well clean that over here because that is disgusting. And <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, actually, um, this is the first time that I'm seeing this Day of the Dead challenge. I'm really, really excited to see what it's all about. Um, and I'm very pleasantly surprised that we actually get this. Um, so, yeah. All right. Let's speed things up here a little bit. Come on, you guys. I'm so excited to go to the restaurant already and just see what I can do at the restaurant to kind of renovate it. Because, I don't know. Honestly, I feel like the, the gods just hate me because, like... It just does not work out, you know? Nothing that I want to do works out the way I wanted it to. So, um, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, like, what we can possibly do to have a better experience than we had previously. So, I'm gonna go ahead and actually take Kaylee to the restaurant, and I will see you guys when we get there in just a second. Okay, guys? Alright, alright, alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Kaylee's Kitchen, and I'm kind of dreading this because the recent experiences that we had at this restaurant was kind of pretty traumatic, so I don't wanna, I don't, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, first things first, I wanna see what kind of perk points we can afford and see if we have the ability to, um, to kind of, uh, hmm, you know, like, um, 
make it a little bit easier for us, I guess. Curious customers, increase how often customers request. This perk unlocks uh hmm. inspirational speech. What is this? Uh, we can use to inspire our employee fast eaters, low employee training costs, ingredient discount, well-funded foodies. Uh, how much do we have? Yeah, we tidy tippers. Hmm. Let's see here. Ingredient discount, well-managed, lowers the chance of bad events. Okay, we already have that. Ooh, we can't afford it, I mean. I really, really want this. Uh, I really, really want this. All right. And ingredient discount large. Hmm. I really want the expensive, well-funded foodies. Customers will tip a bit extra on top of every meal. It can be purchased. Let's purchase this one. Well-funded foodies. And yeah. All right. Cool beans. And then, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hop into um, build buy mode and do something about our restaurant menu. How can we figure it out? Like, is it over here? I forgot. Wasn't it like over here before? Where is it now? Oh, uh, how can we like, oh, I totally forgot. Um, hmm. Business perks, business points. Uh, view la manage employees restaurant settings. Okay, there we go. Price markup 150%, and customer dress code. Sure, they can be dressed in every day. Um, restaurant menu. Let's add a couple of. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna add some expensive stuff, of course. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's just add a couple of really, really expensive ones. Cupid juice, sea of fire, and then... Nah, just the cupid juice I think would be good. And these two I think would be good. Alright, and then for our dessert appetizer, I mean... We'll just go for the expensive ones. Like, why not? Whoa! Is asparagus really that expensive? <laughs> okay, let's add these two. They have no relevance whatsoever to our menu, but whatever. Main course, of course, we're going to go for like the super expensive one. Trout Meunier. And let's see here. Wale surprise. <laughs> lobster Tortellini sounds pretty appetizing. And Lobster Thermidor. There we go. Those two. And then for dessert, um, let's see here. Uh, let's go for these two expensive ones. Hopefully our chef can, you know, um, figure that out. So there we go, our updated restaurant menu. And then I also want to kind of do something about our restaurant size. Um, so I'm wondering if we can make it a little bit larger. Um, and possibly sell some things. Let's sell these and sell these. And let us enlarge that. Like so. You know what? Before that. Let's make sure to turn on the move objects cheat. There we go. So that we don't accidentally delete any items. And then, yeah, it looks like we, we're going to be able to have a little bit of a bigger space. I might even just get rid of this central thing, even though I really like how it looks. Should I get rid of it? What do you guys think? Yeah, let's get rid of it. I don't think that it has any purpose whatsoever. <laughs> we are doing everything we can to enlarge our restaurant. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it by one as well. Like so. So hopefully we're going to be able to accommodate a couple more tables indoors. Uh, I know, right? I just renovated like the outside, but I mean, I just added a bunch of things on the outside, but whatever. Um, so let's just go ahead and move these guys over here. Hopefully it's not too difficult for them to get here. Let's do that. Okay, that's good. And then this, let's put it there. I love when um, the tables snap and stuff. It just feels really great to me as somebody who has OCD. <laughs> All right, and let's add a couple of tables and chairs over here. And we are practically broke again. 
Let's see here. Is that really like all the space we have? Over here, we can go ahead and throw in an extra chair. There we go. And this space over here kind of calls for a, a seating area, but I'm just going to go ahead and move this over here like that. There we go. And you know that there we go. That's our nice little upgrade. I'm going to make sure that our roof is properly figured out like so. So it doesn't look weird from the outside. And we might actually have to have another extra roof over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one like so, so that it doesn't really mess up our existing situation. There you go. That's really nice. And um, make this brick. And let's paint this. I know you guys, I'm, I apologize for taking quite some time just just renovating and stuff. But, you know, we have to do it. <laughs> some things have to be done. So, yeah, I think so far so good. Hopefully this helps. I really do hope. And yeah, let's go ahead and open our restaurants. And we're going to accept customers until about one or like maybe. Yeah, until one. And then when like one one o'clock comes, um, I'm going to go and uh, disallow customers. Let's clean this up. Help out our employees. All right. And you know what? We should take advantage of our inspirational speech. Uh, so before we get any new customers, let's go ahead and um, let's see here. Give all of our employees like some inspirational speeches so that hopefully they um, there she goes again rummaging through the trash. All right. A buzzword, free inspirational speech. I'm inspired because you managed to pull that off. I really hope that that's a good thing. He sounds kind of sarcastic though, so whatever. All right, come on. Let's get this over and done with. All right, let's speed things up for a little bit. It's the same Shmiel. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Oh no. Oh no, what happened here? Did I forget to clean this yesterday? Uh, okay. So yeah, some yeah some of our employees are responding really positively to the speeches, so that's cool. I'm gonna have her mop this so that she actually helps out a little bit. Look at all these people! Holy moly! Uh oh! Uh oh! Restaurant critic! <gasps> Oh my goodness, yes, this is the day. Oh my gosh, and there's two of them. Oh no. Oh my goodness, yes. We need to put our best foot forward, you guys. Like, literally dying. Literally. Okay, we are going to go ahead and take care of everybody. Uh, welcome them and check on their table. Where's the rest? Good thing we- No, that's no! Oh my gosh, somebody clean that up. That's, oh my gosh. Like the, everything like had to break like at the same day that the restaurant critics are here. Um, okay, this is getting very overwhelming. <laughs> very, very overwhelming. <laughs> okay, let us, um, who else is seated? Okay, these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and um, welcome them and check on their table. Dude, you better like be doing well. And then let's say hi to the rest. Oh no, they look like they're complaining. Holy crap. This is so stressful, you guys. Like, I'm already stressed with work and with school and my voice cracked. And now the game is stressing me out. Uh, okay. And then just... You know, make sure that we are properly interacting with everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 50th Hunger Games. No, just Okay, management and welcome him and check on his table. There's only so much we can do as the hostess. 
Alright, there you go. The restaurant critics doesn't want to be welcomed. Alright, is anybody like asking for a recommendation? Okay, these guys are asking for a recommendation. Alright, um, you guys, I recommend the most expensive thing. Oh, no. I thought they were asking for the recommendation. I guess not. What's that icon on, on top of their head? Uh, management and welcome him. All right, and uh, ask for sugar skull. What is that about? <laughs> I really don't know. Hmm. Should we do that? <sighs> uh, I'm afraid that it might interfere with our situation here. So, okay, let's go ahead and management check on her table. And I really want to be able to prioritize her food. Let's uh, turn this on. Uh, let's go for um, classical. All right, cool beans. Welcome to my restaurant, management, and oh no, we couldn't um, prioritize her food. I wonder why. Actions. Nope. All right, and she. There's nothing we can do. Okay, let's go ahead and do the skull thing. I'm very intrigued by it. There's so much stuff going on. Like, how crazy is this? And let us uh, manage Pedro. Uh-oh. I think my game is lagging once again. Oh my gosh, this is scaring me. Okay, why would I celebrate the Day of the Dead with a stranger or enemy? Ooh. That hurts. <laughs> what do we get? Do we get anything? Okay, nothing. Hmm. Okay, fine. Let us actually just um, listen to... How can we... Can we, like, dance to something? I don't know. Because Kaylee is kind of... Um, oh, this guy's asking for, like, a recommendation, I think. Let I need to tell jokes to someone. I need to, like, tell jokes with someone because... Um, yeah, where's the other restaurant critic? Did you leave? Okay, let's have her be seated. Or like just friendly introduction with her, and we need to tell a couple of jokes as well. And how is n nobody getting seated yet? She has been waiting for like forever. Management, um, yeah. How is she not seated yet? Can we do something about this, please? Okay. I'm getting stressed. Hopefully she's fine. Prioritize her food, please. Like, I'm literally dying here. Okay. So, um, you are too important to wait. I'm going to make sure your food comes out pronto. How many times can we do this, though? All right. I'm so tempted to, like, sell this fridge. Yes, okay, okay, and you know what? I know you're feeling kind of miserable, so just clean up. <laughs> clean up the tables and just... yeah, whatever. Okay, oh my gosh, it's already, like, 2. 2 p.m. Disallow new customers. Oh my gosh, you guys just see that? That was just like a big major glitch. Alright, management. Um, welcome him and check on his table. I really hope that this freaking girl, restaurant critic, um, you know, gives us a good review after all the effort. <laughs> Alright. And we're gonna wash it all the way there. And then he needs to be welcomed. And he needs to be, um, checked on. Why isn't she seated? I'm so perplexed. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy came later than her, so I don't know. Uh, let's be funny with her, tell a joke about penguins, and funny... Just, just be funny. 
She needs to have some fun though, so that's good. All right. Oh crap. Uh, we need to check on these guys. Uh, management, welcome and check on their table. I keep forgetting about these guys at home. Oh no. Uh, he is going to take care of himself. I love how Ethan is by himself. <laughs> And I love how she is. Sit down. Sit down. Five star. <gasps> oh my gosh. Holy moly. Five star review. Dining here was one of the most remarkable experiences of my life. It has opened my mind to what perfection could really be. The flavors of my meal will linger with me for the years to come. Dine here. It's not a suggestion. It's a mandate. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Like, literally, you guys, I could not be happier. Like, my heart is about to burst. I'm so happy we gave her, like, the special treatment because, yes, okay. She gave us a five-star review. That's amazing. Do we get five stars? <gasps> oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy. We get five stars. This is amazing. All right, so um, she is going to just entertain uh, and just, you know, be funny and stuff. We really need to get up her fun. So I think telling jokes would be a good um, option for that. It's all funny story. Management and yeah. Okay, cool beans. I hope she's getting seated now. Yay! Looks like she has leveled up in her comedy skill. Manage her and we are going to um let's see here. Praise let's let's praise everyone. You know, we just got a five star rating. I think everybody needs some praise. Yes. All right, uh, I think she's not seated because um, we can only have like one restaurant critic. Oh, now she's seated. Okay, cool beans. Let's go ahead and uh, check up on her table and we really need to prioritize on our food. Like, we really need to. Uh, how are the employees responding? Yes, okay, cool beans. These need to be gotten rid of, and that as well. <laughs> Why is that even there? Just get rid of that. There you go. And then, oh my gosh, somebody clean her table. Management, and has she not ordered yet? And then who else has, hasn't ordered? Uh, let's see here. How many hours have we been opened? Oh no, we've been open for eight hours. That means that our employees are like freaking, freaking pissed. Or freaking tired. We have so many people that we still need to serve. This is crazy. Is it for all of them or just... Okay, it's for all of them. And then these guys are next and then these guys and then her. I really want to prioritize her food. Uh, do an impression, just make her laugh and just entertain her. Tell outrageous story. Uh, tell funny story. And, um, these guys, have they already ordered? I feel like they just ordered right now. Our chef, I feel so bad for him. What his, what's his name again? Uh, Marcus? I forgot his name. Pedro, well, <gasps> come on, Pedro. Did you just, are you burning yourself? No, why did my game have to lag now? Okay, I thought he burned himself, so I guess not. Manage Pedro. Um, give him an inspirational speech. He really needs it. I want him to give it like 150%. All right, and how much have we earned? Oh, we've earned quite a lot of money already, but... I'm not sure. That might get offset by, um, you know, 
like our uh, bills for the employees as well as the um, yeah as well as the food that we had to pay for let's give her another inspirational speech because these two they're the only ones that are working right now uh, what what's her name Macy Christy no longer has to work anymore so yeah why do we like lose profit though because um I'm, I'm pretty sure that used to say like 500 something whatever management prioritize our food like right now the food needs to come out okay where is she going please don't rummage through the trash she's literally rummaging through the trash and she's also really hungry, so you know what? I think she deserves to eat something at least. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, have a quick meal of some orange juice. I think that gives off a lot of energy. These guys are having a lot of fun actually, which is quite um, reassuring. <laughs> oh my gosh, everybody's giving us like, a lot of people are giving us like five stars. How awesome is this? And then these guys, have they already ordered though? Okay, so I'm pretty sure we just prioritized this woman's food, so... Yeah. <sighs> this is so stressful, oh my gosh. And I'm getting a little bit impatient as well, like how long is this gonna take? Are these guys done eating? I'm pretty sure they're like done. I'm. Yeah, I think they, they're done. Yay, look at that. And then, um, okay, cool beans. I That better be- <gasps> No, what did you just do? Isn't that like for her? I saw her do that. I literally just, she was literally picking up somebody's food and then she just threw it on the floor. Is she that, that tired? Uh, check on their table and- <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, that's all we can do for now. Okay, what is she doing? Okay, girl, just check on their table right now. Okay, please. Uh, yeah. Has she not ordered yet? Is she just ordering now? Yeah, I think she's just ordering, ordering, whatever. What did she ask her? I'm so perplexed. Ooh, do you guys just see that? What the hell was that? Okay, I'm getting really nervous because I don't want the other things that have been happening to happen like right now. And I think that might happen. Uh, let's see here. Come on. Pedro, check up on him. All right. Where is her food and where are their food? I don't want to be too critical, but maybe you, if you put me in charge, I could turn things around. Well, maybe if you cook stuff. <laughs> what is happening? It's already like 8 p.m. Where is her food? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh crap, where's her food, you guys? I do not know, like what the actual, like what the hell? She's been waiting for like forever, hashtag waiting for forever though. Why aren't they making her food? I'm so confused, this always happens all the time. All right, let's just make sure that everybody at home is taking care of themselves. I'm still... Uh, what, are, what are we gonna do? Okay, let's speed things up here a little bit until it's like... 12. Yep, there's no food being cooked. Like, no food. And... Uh... Like, what is going on? I know they're tired. Uh, hmm. Okay. 
request cooking speed quickly? Oh, I should have realized that earlier. It's like 10 p.m. Like, I'm so tempted to just close up shop and not have the restaurant critic um give us like a bad review. I would have been so happy because of the five stars, but then again, my enthusiasm has been diminished. What was that sound? Oh no! Oh no, holy crap. Okay, it's falling apart, it's falling apart. Okay, you know what? Okay. I could have grown I could have grown and cooked my own food by this point. This is unacceptable. I'm leaving. Well, before you leave, I'm going to close the store. There you go. We've earned 100 simoleons. It always happens every time that, you know, the last couple of customers are not being served. I demand an explanation from EA. Is this a glitch? What am I doing wrong? You guys, I know you guys know more than me. I think I've done everything possible to make sure that there aren't any disruptive glitches and stuff, but I just do not understand why my employees don't serve the guests. And that's very... That's one thing that I really hate. You know, as much as I really, really like this expansion, this game pack, I'm just like, what the actual fuck is going on? Is this a glitch or what? Like, I just do not know. Uh, so, um, and it happens to me every time. Like, the past couple of episodes, I've encountered this situation. And, you know, um, I just really don't know what's going on. I... I thought it was like a glitch and then the game just got patched many times already and I just, you know, because we, we experienced some really good points, um, you know, playing at a restaurant, but it just gets destroyed by this glitch, which just ruined the experience for me. You know, I was having so much fun like 20 minutes ago when we got a level five rating and then right now we... Failed to um, serve a couple of our people, and that happens to me all the time. And just, I'm just tired of it. I'm so tired, honestly. Without these glitches, I would probably play the game more. But because of it, it's it's just very disappointing, and it's just making me not interested to play the game. Because you know, no matter how hard I try to do things perfectly to do things properly the game just is broken and you know i'm ranting right now but what is she about though like who are these guys like these, they're so weird day of the dead celebrator Ooh. okay so you know what you guys i am just freaking pissed so i think this is the time to wrap this part up right here okay so anyway once again please don't forget to comment what you guys suggest um to maybe improve our experience and if you're having the same problem let me know it might just be me i might just be doing something wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm not because uh, it's just it just destroys my whole experience i was having so much fun and then we get a glitch and it's just ruined you know so yeah i can't wait to end this let's play it's probably gonna end in a couple more parts so that's something to look forward to at least. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. Like I said, once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this video because it really does help with the channel a lot, okay? You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.